Hi gang, Better Call Saul just ended and Vince Gilligan confirmed that he's not gonna make anything else for the Breaking Bad universe anytime soon. So the 14 year journey is really finally over. Vince's TV universe is finally complete. So I wanted to make a video about it to show some love. Both Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul use color in a very unique way. And I thought it would be fun to look at how the shows use color to help tell the story. We can learn a lot from Vince and his wordless storytelling. But what show shall I talk about? Fuck it, I'll talk about both. Let's start with Breaking Bad. So in Breaking Bad, every color stands for something. Red stands for blood and violence, orange stands for danger, yellow stands for the mad business, and so on and so forth. And the first thing we can learn from it is that the most effective way to use colors to help tell your story is to treat them like they are light motifs. I explained what light motifs are a while ago, but that was in a really old video, so I will quickly explain it again. A light motif is a piece of music that is associated with a character, a theme, an idea. It can be associated with anything in your story. You can use a light motif to highlight parts of the thing that the light motif represents by playing it at important parts of that thing's journey. For example, Ukwe dies, so we get a sad version of Ukwe's leitmotiv. It's that simple. You should also treat your colors like that. For example, in season 5, we see that Walt's house is destroyed and has a lot of graffiti on it. What color is that graffiti? Yellow. The director used a color that is associated with the mad business to show us that it's the mad business that did this to him and his family. The director used colors to make a strong scene even stronger. He treated the colors like you should also treat light motifs. You should also use colors as much as you possibly can, especially at the start of your story. It's really important to let your audience know what color means what. If the audience doesn't understand what the colors stand for, then it was all for nothing. So use the colors in very obvious ways at the start. You can make it a bit harder to understand it later in the story, but you can't really do that at the start, because it has to be really clear which color means what. Once you know the audience understands which color is what, you can go all out. It's kinda like everything in screenwriting. You first have to set everything up before you can pay it off. The third thing that you can do with colors is associate them with characters. For example, Kyler wears a lot of blue. Why? Because blue symbolizes peace and loyalty. Skylar is very loyal to Walt. She stays with him even after she finds out about his drug empire. Yeah, it's a lot more complicated than that, I know. But it does boil down to that. I will give another example. Jesse and Walt's suits in the lab are yellow. Because yellow is the color of the meth empire. The show associates colors with characters to make it clear what their role in the story is, how they feel and what they do. This gives the audience an extra way to experience the story. The last thing we can learn from Breaking Bad's usage of color is use it in a lot of different ways to give the audience different interpretations. Let's take a look at this shot for example. We can see that the pool is blue. That could be because blue is the color of peace in the show. And Skyler is finally gonna get peace once she drowns because she will finally be free from Walt. But you can also interpret it in a completely different way. I know I did. When I first saw the scene, I saw Skylar drowning in the color blue. Blue also represents loyalty in the show. So the scene is telling us that her loyalty to Walt is killing her. Now I know that this trick is really hard to use because you have to come up with different interpretations of scenes and colors, but your scenes will be so much better if you can pull it off. Okay, Better Call Saul time. I don't have that much to say about Better Call Saul. It still uses color in a lot of different really cool ways. But I only want to talk about one. The main thing we can learn from it is how to use color to create tension. So every season of the show starts off with a flash forward showing Saul's life after Breaking Bad. And his life is not good. These flash forwards always have a black and white filter to make it clear that we are in this different time frame. So how does the show use that to create tension with color? Well, it's in the intro. Every season of Better Call Saul, the intro becomes more and more black and white. The show is that this horrible future is coming closer and closer. This keeps the audience on the edge of their seats. Because we want to know how we get to the terrible future. Well, we kinda already know because Breaking Bad, but you know what I mean. So, quick recap as always. Treat your colors like you treat light motifs. That means use them at important moments in the story to enhance scenes by giving them more meaning. Use colors a lot in the beginning of your story. You have to make it clear what every color stands for. Because if you don't, 
All the time and effort you put into your colors will be for nothing. Use storytelling through color in different ways to give the audience multiple interpretations. This one sounds easy on paper, but it's actually the hardest one to pull off. And lastly, use it to create tension. This one is really situational and it's really unnecessary, but if you want to have some fun, go for it. There are not a lot of examples for this. Better Call Saul's intro is the only one I can think of, so this one is also gonna be hard. I'll tell you what I would do if someone put a gun to my head and asked me how to create tension through color. I would start my story by showing something terrible that is associated with a certain color. For example, someone gets killed by a big blue monster clouded in blue mist. After that opening, I would pretend the color doesn't exist, so that the audience is relieved that the monster is gone, until the moment where I would want to use this color to create tension. For example, our hero is suddenly surrounded by blue mist. Now there is a lot of tension, because we associate the blue mist with the monster, so we're in the edge of our seat, because we know the monster is coming. That's how I would do it. Anyway, I hope you learned something from this video, I certainly did. Vince Gilligan is a master at visual storytelling, and we can all learn a lot from him. This will probably not be my last video about his incredible TV universe. See you in the next one.